transformation loop where at the top we start by discovering the opportunities to apply automation and intelligence through this map start by thinking about well where are the problems we've got with our work where are the places where we have a lot of rework or people aren't really following rules they should follow or people are just confused and need more training or people are waiting too long for other people or for other systems to provide information we start by discovering the problems and opportunities and we design solutions using you know innovative technologies to, to in increase automation and drive more intelligence into the flow of work we implement those systems and we of course we we go into a phase of execution where we're we've embraced these new technologies and we're they're part of business as usual and then of course what we really want to do is see well did that really make the difference we thought it would has that given us the advantage that we wanted and can we use that knowledge to drive further improvement highlight further opportunities for change and process intelligence technologies really give us that uh, boost fundamentally that that the pink loop around the edge organizations have been able to do that for decades and historically they've done that by employing armies of consultants to walk around with clipboards and unroll big sheets of brown paper onto walls and draw process maps and do manual workshops and all that kind of stuff but that doesn't really work terribly well in a hybrid workplace it doesn't work terribly well when you've got an awful lot of data multiple channels to deal with and a lot of complexity having some kind of intelligent automation in the way you drive change and transformation is a massive kind of turbocharger and that's what we get from process intelligence technologies so that's technologies like process mining task mining planning and simulation and this ability to also monitor running processes to see well how how closely are they actually following the kinds of paths that we really need them to take so are people um, are people kind of complying with the the policies and the protocols that we really want to have in our business operations and when they aren't maybe what what are some of the reasons why they might not be doing that so that the monitoring piece down in the bottom left is super super important as well 